So imagine that you have a job in a supermarket and you uh, happen to be on your break and you're up there in the tea room and you're sitting there eating your apple and the boss is there and he's getting quite agitated and he's carrying on like some clown from head office has sent these discount dockets out and we've got to give them away to all the customers and like, look at this, we're going to have to give away 25% off, our sh off everybody's shopping bills. It's crazy. We're going to lose heaps of money. We'll all go broke. There won't be any jobs. It's just nuts. I'm going to ring them up and give them a piece of my mind. And you're sitting there and you're a clever young mathematician, a mathematical thinker, and you're sort of thinking to yourself, well, maybe it isn't that bad. You think So you pipe up and say, hey, hey, hang on a minute, boss. Before you get too upset and too worried about things that haven't happened yet, why don't we just go down, grab a few of these... Uh, discount dockets, scratch them off and see what is actually going on. Then we'll have some hard data to ring up and talk to head office about. You know, we'll know what's going on and we'll be able to tell them, you know, exactly what we think is wrong. And the boss goes, that's a fantastic idea. I'm glad I thought of it. I tell you what, why don't you go and grab some of those dockets and we'll come back up here and we'll scratch them all off and we will see what's going on. We'll have some hard data to ring up and talk to head office about. And so you swallow your pride and you think, well, you know, the boss is always right. And you head off and you, you come back with this pile of 50 cards and you scratch them off. And, well, because we've got the mag magic of computers, we're going to scratch them off automatically. So, there we go. I'll do the last few by hand. So, there, after a while, you've got this pile of dockets. So they're all scratched off. And you're thinking, ah, oh, and the boss is going, well, how does that help us? What's... What, how does that clear things up? And you say, well, you know, perhaps what we should have done, boss, before we scratched them off, is we should have built a little tally sheet. You know, just drop a little bit of a table and mark off the 2%, the 5%, the 10%, the 25 And every time we, f we scratch one and we find one of these uh, little doovers, we'll make a mark in the right spot. So here we're doing that. And uh, so every time you scratch them off, you get a mark in the right spot. So here... The last one to go on was a 2 percenter, would have been that mark there. And we've put them in groups of 5 so that they're easier to count. You know, 5, 10, 15, 17. And then it's written over there because we've got the computer to do it. And so there's a 10 percent, so you make the mark in the 10 percent row there, just here, and then you make a mark. There was another 2 percent, brought it up to 18. Here's another 2 percent, another 2 percent, etc, 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 etc. And so now you can see the boss says, oh, right, well, there's only, there's only three 20% out of the, 25% is out of the, uh, out of the 50 we scratched off. What's that as a percent? Like, how much are we, how many 25% offs are we giving? What percentage are we giving? And you say, well, you know, you took three out of the 50, so that's, uh, you're going to make that, that'll be 6%. So you can even do this. You can go over here and you can highlight them. There's the 25 percenters. There's three of them. The experimental probability of getting 25% out of this experiment, we've got 3 out of 50, that's going to be 6%. The boss is going, oh, 6%, that's pretty high, you know, that's uh, that's a lot of tickets still, that's like 6%, that's a fairly big number. He said, well, you know, boss, like, it's not always going to be 6%, you know, like, we could do it again and we, we mightn't get 6%. He goes, really? But we've done the experiment once, and you say, well, no, no, that's the great thing about an experimental probability, is every time you do an experiment, you can get different numbers. And each experiment that you do, each time you do it, it just makes you more confident about the numbers that you're getting out. He goes, really? I said, yeah, look, let's go and get a, let's go and get another batch of, uh, let's go and get another batch of different batch of tickets and we'll do it again. So we'll click this thing here and we'll get some new numbers. And so now as we're scratching them off, we're going through and we haven't got any 25 percenters yet. We've scratched off Look, there we go. This time we didn't get any 25%. He goes, well, how do you know whether you're going to get 3 or whether you're going to get whether you're going to get 6% or whether you're going to get 0%? He's saying, like, how do you know? What, what? He says, well, you just keep doing the experiment a few times and you get a feel for what's going to happen. So, and because we've got the magic of computers here, we're just going to click this button and that's the same as going and getting a new batch of 20 or 50 tickets and scratching them all off and counting them up. And so this time when we're doing the experiment, we've got 1. And this time we've got two, two again, zero, one, two. So now you're thinking, well, perhaps that three percent. That's when we got the six percent the first time we did it. Perhaps you're thinking, you know, that's a uh, that's a bit out of the ordinary, boss, because we've done it like 
six or seven times. I can't remember. I didn't count them. But we've got mainly zeros and ones and twos. And he says, oh, yeah, oh there's a three. And he says, yeah, but... And you're saying, well, but experimentally, we're doing the experiment a few times. Oh, look, there was a, there's a four. You know, you can get four percent or four out of 50 or eight percent. But most of the time when you do the experiment, you get around about, I'd say the most common number that we're getting is about two out of 50 or four percent. And you think, oh, you saying, right, right. So that's the, that's the difference between, that's, that's what experimental probability is all, all about. You, you've got some situation in real life and you're trying to find out a bit about it. You're trying to work out so that in the future, what, you're trying to work out what you would expect. And so when we do the experiment loads of times, I reckon we'd expect one or two or three 25 percenters out of 50 each time we do the experiment. That's what I'd expect. So that's what we get here. The experimental property probability is different each time the experiment is repeated and we re re repeat the experiment lots of different times so that we get more confident we get a better feel for what to expect in the future so that if you're going to do the experiment again you're going to make predictions and you're going to talk to the people in head office you can say well I've done this experiment enough times I feel confident that we're going to get about two or three out of every 50. And the boss says yeah well we can probably live with two or three out of 50 maybe those guys in head office maybe they thought about it and you know maybe it'll be all right in the end and so that's why we do experimental probability and we use tally sheets to present the data in a way that helps us see it and rather than just having this pile of scratched off cards and it's hard to see what's going on.